From a whirlwind cannon to a gay bomb, these are the 10 strangest weapons ever invented. Punt guns were a very large type of shotgun used in the 19th and early 20th centuries. They were used to hunt large flocks of birds resting on the water's surface. The guns were so large they were mounted onto boats known as punts, hence the name punt gun. They could fire over a pound, which is around 0.45 kilos of shot, and kill over 50 birds with a single pull of the trigger. The sheer power these giant guns produced when shot was enough to propel the boat it was mounted on backwards. The gun was so effective in hunting water birds that it was banned in the US in the 1860s due to a depletion in stocks of wild waterfowl. The man catcher was a pole arm used in medieval times, used to capture noble opponents alive so they could be held for ransom. The design allowed the man catcher to be used against ground attackers as well as opponents on horseback. The end was designed with a spring loaded gate that could effectively trap and hold the opponent in place. Because it was a non lethal weapon, the man catcher could also be used to restrain violent prisoners. This bizarre contraption, known as the Whirlwind Cannon, was invented during World War II by Austrian scientist Dr. Zippermeyer. The Whirlwind Cannon fired compressed air, which was created by explosions in a combustion chamber. It was then funneled through a 12 meter long barrel and a further 13 meter nozzle towards the target. The theory was that this burst of air may be directed at an enemy aircraft, knocking them out of the sky. The weapon was produced after initial experiments were successful, using a smaller cannon reportedly able to shatter wooden planks 183 meters away. Luckily for the Allied forces, the results from the initial testing could not be replicated with a larger prototype due to the difficulty in directing whirlwinds at a moving aircraft. The Claw of Archimedes was a weapon devised by Greek engineer and inventor Archimedes. It was used to defend the city of Syracuse, Sicily against a seaborne assault. The contraption was reportedly some sort of crane with a large hook at the end of it that could lift an enemy's ship out of the water, then suddenly drop it, causing it to capsize. The historian Livy described these machines in use in 214 BC, when the Roman Republic attacked Syracuse, attributing large losses of Roman Republic ships to Archimedes' unusual but effective machine. Battlefield 1 fans will instantly recognize this gun. With a total loaded weight of a mere 218.3 grams, the Colibri is the smallest ever gun produced with a centerfire cartridge. Patented by Austrian watchmaker Franz Fanel in 1910, the Colibri gets its name appropriately from the German word for hummingbird. The cartridge only weighs 5.3 grams and is only 11 millimeters long and 3 millimeters wide. With a muzzle velocity of 200 meters per second, the Colibri lacked firepower even for its time. The pint-sized gun was only capable of penetrating a pine board no further than 40 millimeters. In comparison, the Beretta M9 used by the US Army from 1990 until today has a muzzle velocity of nearly double that at 381 meters per second. Released in 1998, the Blaster was an invention created by South African Charles Fury, designed to discourage carjackings. In 1998, the South African city of Johannesburg had the highest rates of carjacking per capita in the world, along with murder, rape and assault. Fury's invention was essentially a giant flamethrower installed under the doors of a vehicle that could shoot 5 meter long flames into the face of a would-be assailant. In the event of a carjacking, the driver could flick a switch, releasing the flame that Fury claimed would definitely blind the attacker but would be unlikely to kill them. When released, the device was poorly received with only a few hundred sold. In 1999, the Blaster won the Ig Nobel Peace Prize, a parody of the real Nobel Prizes. The Lantern Shield was a weapon used for self-defense and dueling during the Italian Renaissance. The Lantern could temporarily blind an opponent, leaving them open to a blade strike. The more elaborately designed shields even included a mechanism that would allow the user to hide or brighten the light, and some even incorporated a gauntlet and a blade into the shield itself. The LED incapacitator is a weapon similar to a flashlight that emits a series of random bright light pulses designed to incapacitate a target by causing visual impairment and nausea. 
informally known as the puke light due to its ability to induce vomiting. The LED incapacitator was designed by Intelligent Optical Systems after it awarded an 800,000 US dollar contract by the United States Department of Homeland Security. This non-lethal device was envisaged to be used by police as well as border patrols during illegal border crossings or confrontations with drug runners. A prototype for the device was completed in 2007 and was intended to be released to law enforcement agencies by 2010. But there's no word as to whether it's being used today. Who Me was a top secret stench weapon developed by the US during World War II. The device was small enough that it could be carried around in a pocket and designed to spray extremely volatile sulfur compounds that smelled of fecal matter. The idea was to humiliate German officers by spraying them with the compounds, making them smell like shit and thus the German forces would be demoralised. The invention was short lived however as the spray was difficult to control, often covering the person doing the spraying as much as the intended target. The gay bomb was a theoretical weapon that a US Air Force research lab speculated about producing in 1994. The idea was to create a chemical weapon that dumped female sex pheromones over enemy troops, making them sexually attracted to each other. This invention was laid to rest after Swedish researchers demonstrated that heterosexual and homosexual men respond very different when exposed to odours that are associated with sexual arousal, thus making the idea of a gay bomb as ridiculous as it sounds. Well, hey, well, that's it for another episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you can't get enough of our content, click that top link there for a single serving of ham. Or if you want more and you want to binge for hours, click that bottom link there for a playlist. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time.